The Wichita State Shockers unbeaten through two days, taking on the Texas A&M Aggies. And if the Aggies win, both teams two and one. Aggies win head to head, and they take home the championship belt. Of course, the Shockers finishing undefeated would do the same thing. So, Mike, we have our championship game <laughs> in game six worked out perfectly. Yeah, that's that's how we drew it up, right? The final day, final game, and now we get to decide who gets the championship belt. Troy Clonch, the Aggie catcher, wearing the Revere number 12 on his back, steps up with two out. Clonch is hitting 312 on the season. First pitch swinging into left center. It will fall in the gap. Moss, pretty solid running those bases right now, heading for home. Aggies go up one to nothing. Clonch with the RBI double moving up in the lineup for that particular reason. Got him a pitch he can handle and drove the ball in the gap. Jack Moss flying around the bases. And we've got bubbles, Mr. Hart. <laughs> bubbles are here. We've been waiting for the bubbles to come out and play. And they got started early today. Rodden to the shortstop. Harrison scoops over to Targosh and on to Moss. Double play ball for the Aggies. All is right in the world of the Aggies right now because they didn't want that air hurt them. So they, what do you do? You six. Four, three, double play, and such a quick turn. After being away for so long, they're going to enjoy that quite a bit, not living out of a suitcase. In the left center, Targotch got a hold of it. Will it carry? It will. I see the hand going up and turning around. That's a home run. Yes, sir. Circular motion from Chris Griffith signaling that one got out of here for the Aggies. Told you I finally got a chance to see him on the right side of the plate. Thinking that's the dominant side because Yahtzee got him. Just above the main event logo. One one pitch into right center. That's in the gap. Cornbloom brings home Chuck Ingram. And the Shockers have their first run of the night. It's four to one Aggies. Good piece right there. Hit it in the right center field. Drove in the run. Got a pitch he finally could handle. Looked for it away and finally went that way. One two coming to Kadena. Right side of the infield booted by Moss, handled by Targotch, not in time. Toby scores to the Shockers, which would have happened regardless. But Wichita State will have runners on the corners and two runs on the board. Couldn't handle it. Great work by Targotch to have an opportunity there. Right place to catch the deflection. A little hesitation once he got the ball at second. 1-0 pitch, grounded to short. Harrison to Targotch. To complete the double play. Huge for the Aggie defense. The Shockers get two, but it could have been much more. The Aggies. Retain a lead at four to two through six innings. First pitch <laughs> swinging a Chuck Ingram. Carella heading towards third. It's caught up in the corner, and they'll send Casarella heading towards home. Sliding head first. The Shockers are within one. Sometimes you 
you just hit the ball hard and it just goes where it needs to go. There's that man again, Graham. Big at bat. He's been hitting the ball hard all weekend. And now he's starting to get rewarded for some of those balls that were line drives right at him. A run double gets caught up in the corner. Boast had a hard time finding it, and that allowed Wichita State to put the green light on. And a big knock from Peyton Tolley. Splash down past the Lazy River. You were talking about the big man and what can he do? Bang, bang, he hit that thing. The Shockers take the lead over the Aggies. Wow. Ooh, he knew it right away as well. Everybody did. What a knock. Bounce past the Lazy River and back in. So that's a wet baseball. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So they got, they're expecting a heat wave at 5.30 in the morning. That's, that's why they're heading indoors. Rock knocking this one into left field. And we have ourselves a tie ball game in Frisco. Ryan Targotch crosses the plate. Came in as the man with the plan. Great call by Coach Schlossnagel with the switch to bring Rock in for the pitch hit. Got a pitch he can handle. Drove it into left field. And you can see him pumped up when he got to first base. He was really excited about his performance at the plate. And all my best ideas come way too late. Can I redo that call one time? All right. Three, two, one. And the Aggies smell what Rock is cooking. Oh. We've got ourselves a tie game. <laughs> it's five to five. Okay, I'll let you have that one. Can we can we edit that? Can we do a little, <laughs> do a little work? I, I thought of that way too late. <laughs> we got ourselves a pitching change in this tie ball game. It's five to five. Shockers and Aggies. Sunday night baseball in Frisco. 2-2, two, two, one out. Runner on third in a tie game, 5-5. Five, five. Segris hits this one to the opposite field. A diving Minnick makes the catch, but the run comes home. Shockers take the lead. It's 6-5, to five, Wichita State. What, what a great play in right field by Minnick. Because if that ball gets past him, it's an inside the park home run. He had to lay out, made a great play, tried to come up and make a strong throw to home plate. Cooper Cornbloom crosses the dish. Shockers up six to five in the bottom of the eighth. This may be the turnaround the Shockers need for their season. Moss to the left side. Casarella finishing things off for the Wichita State Shockers. The Shockers go 3-0 and in Frisco. What a weekend for the Shockers. We talked to Coach Wedge about everything and how he's trying to install that tradition to this team. Wanting them to come back out and play hard and earn, understand what it's like to be a Wichita State Shocker. This is just the beginning over there. They should be very proud. 